Hi, my name is Karina Fish, and we are at Harvard University. This is the chemistry lab, and under Dr. Whitesides. This summer, I'm working on soft robotics. Soft robotics? What is that? Well, hello, Adam. Hey, Karina. Soft robots, you ask? What is that? Yeah. Soft robots. So we know what the robot is, right? Right. You have a stiff Ooh. metal robot. Wait, we, was that stiff enough? No, it was pretty stiff, Adam. Thanks, all right. But we want a soft robot that can pick up eggs and hamsters and other shapes. So we use pneumatics and ecoflex. What's Come pneumatics? With, pneumatics is air, Adam. Very good question. And ecoflex is silicon rubber. Let's go check it out. Cool. We have pneumatics here because we pump the air into tubing. And then we have the Ecoflex 30, which is our silicon rubber. And we have several molds. We have the hand, we have a tentacle, and lastly, we have a single channel mold right here. If you follow me, we'll actually make one, a tentacle. Let's go. So we mix one part of Ecoflex A, with one part of Ecoflex B. So 17.2 will give us double to B 4.4. So next we mix it up and we put it in the vacuum. Hold up. Why are you putting it in the vacuum? Very good question. So, if we see here, it has a lot of mini bubbles in it. We have to get all the bubbles out before we can pour it into our mold. Why? Because that way, when it cures, it's just one piece of equal flesh instead of many different parts. Hmm, that makes sense. Next, we pour it into the mold. Now, after it's cured, we take the mold apart and we see our tentacle. So once we have our tentacle, we have bits and pieces. It's a trim on both sides. And this is where the tentacles were and the base was. This was the top part. So what can you do with the top part? So the top part, you can't do much with it right now. But once you put PDMS in the center channel, it constrains it. So we put air on the outside. It can bend this way and that way. Let's go see the different models we have. So here we have the five different type of tentacles we have, and each of them is slightly different well, from each other. But how are they different? Very, very good question. So this one here is a suction cup. So we can pick up little jars of liquid like this. Well, that's pretty cool. It is. The way we do this one is that we put PDMS on the inner channel, and we put a tubing as well, and then we attach the suction cup here. For this one, we have a needle. So we keep it on this PDMS block so to make sure it doesn't stab anyone. Yeah, that would suck. But we've been able to pop this blue liquid through it before. This one is a camera. These two are kind of similar, minus the camera part, because they both have Ecoflux right here and here. So if you see, these three long tubings controls the bottom half, and these three short tubings control the top half. And then this one is our most basic tentacle. It just has three, and it has nothing special with the middle, just PDMS. Let's see one in action. That's pretty cool, Karina. Thank you, Adam. So for this one, we have Ecoflex in the middle, and we control the bottom and the top. Ready, Adam? I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah. 
So here we have the hand mold, the paper we adhere it to, and then the actual hand on the side. So if you can see here, we have a channel, and then a knuckle, a knuckle, and a knuckle. Let's see it in action. So Karina, why did you guys implement knuckles in your design? We put the knuckles in so it's more like a human hand. There's no particular reason other than trying to make it look like a human. That's pretty cool. Why, thank you. So here, we can see that we have control over the first three fingers, and then the other two tubings controls the thumb and the pointer. Okay. So we're back where we started, and I hope you all learned what soft robotics is. Adam, do you understand what soft robotics? Soft robotics. Eco flip was the silicone base rubber. Pneumatics was its air. You put them together, and it makes soft robotics. Woo! Yeah. Soft robotics is awesome and all, but what are the uses? Good question, Adam. Soft robots. What are the uses? So we have delicate items such as eggs and hamsters, but we can't always pick them up with traditional robots. So soft robotics gives us a chance to pick them up. Another application is the hand. Chopping people. <laughs> <laughs> this is Karina. 